Okay, this video is going to be about the ballistic screen in the Kestrel 5700 Elite. Uh, what I'll do is I'll set it up to take a simulated shot up this canyon behind me at 1200 yards. We'll go through the uh, setting your direction of fire, setting your range, uh, making sure that you have your correct angle input, and then what we'll do is we'll do a wind capture on it, and at the end we'll have a correction for the shot. Okay, the advantage to using a Kestrel with a applied ballistics program in it is that you don't have to really worry about inputting some of your environmental factors like uh, station pressure, temperature, humidity, and those kinds of things. It takes care of that for you. So all you really need to worry about is what the wind is doing, what the uh, range to the target is, what the angle of fire is to that target, and then kick back and let it do its work. So uh, when we go through this video, you'll kind of see how it works and uh, really how efficient the whole process is. Okay, so we have our yardage, we have our angle to the target. It's about an eight degree shot to get up to the top of that peak over there. So the next thing we want to do is clear out the wire sensor for the temperature in the unit by swirling it around. Then you have two options after you do this. In the environment screen of the Kestrel, you can say no updates, which means what it does is it locks you in place for what the conditions are right now. So if it takes longer than you know a few minutes to take the shot, you don't have to worry about the sun warming the Kestrel up and messing with the temperature on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the update. I'm just gonna turn it to no. So now it won't update no matter how long it's in the sun. Okay, I'm gonna pick my gun. We're gonna take this shot, simulate a shot with the 260. So in the gun screen, you highlight 260. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my target screen. What I want to do is I want to point the Kestrel at the target and then capture it for direction of fire. Okay, so now my target is locked in to 114 degrees is 1200 yards so you want to go into target screen and it's an active target change the degrees to 8 for your angle of fire and then exit and your target is locked in so now we want to do a wind capture so I'm going to scroll down to wind and I'm going to point the Kestrel into the wind and do a capture on it. It's pretty brisk up in here. Then I'm going to hit capture again and what that did was it locked in my wind so now my wind and my target are locked and no matter where I am in relation to the target I can take the shot so uh, that's how you do it. Simple as that. Okay, this will be a recap of setting up your Kestrel Elite to take a shot on a target with a wind capture. So we want to get into our ballistic screen, which is here. So make sure it's in mode ballistics. You hit enter. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure it's on the right gun. Uh, this is for the 260 with the 140 hybrid. Uh, to change guns, you just scroll with the arrows. And this will stay at whatever you had it at last time when you turn the unit off. So you don't really have to worry about it if you just run in one gun. Okay, and here's our environment screen. And if you remember, I turned off the update on this. Uh, the reason that you do that is if you're going to take longer than a couple of minutes to take the shot and the Kestrel is exposed to direct sunlight, it can warm up hotter than what the air temperature really is. Another reason to do that is if you're uh, hunting in really cold conditions and you like to keep your Kestrel in your pocket, you can take an ambient temperature reading, you know, swirl it around like I showed you to clear the air wire, the wire sensor out to get the temperature, and then you could turn that update off so it'd be no. Uh, make sure you turn it back on because if you don't, the Kestrel won't update anything. Uh, no temperature or pressure or humidity or anything like that. Okay, so we want it to know. We want to do our latitude right here. So if it, anything other than 48 degrees, I would scroll until I got to where I needed to be. And then the rest of the numbers are just showing you what the Kestrel is reading right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and back out. We have our gun figured out. Let's go ahead and move up to target. 
A couple different ways to do this. The way I showed you is by doing a, a, a direction of fire capture with the capture button. So you just point the, the back of the Kestrel at your target. Uh, make sure your the T is highlighted like that. Point it at the target. Make sure your Kestrel is upright so the compass will work right. And then you hit capture again. Now the direction of fire is locked in. So no matter what you do with this, uh, a wind capture or anything like that will be uh, relative to that direction of fire. Uh, while we're talking about that, it's important to note with the Kestrel that when you're doing the wind capture or anything like that, it doesn't really care which way the wind is blowing through that impeller. What it's looking at when you do a capture is which way is the back of the Kestrel pointed in relation to the target. So uh, if you blow through the, the impeller, uh, sometimes the wind direction won't make sense to you, but what it is, is the back of the Kestrel is pointing in the direction relative to the target for that number. So just make sure when you're doing captures that uh, you pay attention to where this Kestrel is pointing and then you try to keep it as upright as possible so the compass works right. Okay, we can set our yardage right in the same screen without moving, just by scrolling with the arrows. But we also need to set our angle, our angle to the target from the rifle. So we're going to go ahead and press enter on the target screen. You can see we have target range here. We've got the direction of fire. You can change that here. Uh, here's the degrees for the shot. Just go up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at 8. It also has a cosine number in case you're using a, a cosine indicator on your rifle. And then here's a target speed if you have a mover as well as a direction. And if you need to or want to, you can come in here and change your wind direction, your wind speed, and wind speed too. Okay, let's talk about setting up the windscreen. Now the way I showed you in the video was I did a live wind capture on it. So once I had my direction of fire and my distance and everything figured out, I uh, did a wind capture on it. So I highlighted the W with the arrow. So whichever way the Kestrel is pointing now, it's going to tell me that's where the wind's coming from. So you see it's kind of coming from 12 o'clock, means I have the back of the Kestrel pointed at 12 o'clock. Once I get a really good sample, I'm going to hit that capture again, and it'll just stay there. So there's obviously no wind blowing here in the gun room, so it just says no wind. Now another way to do that is to go into your windscreen, hit enter, and here's where you can change everything. So your direction, your wind direction right here, if you just want to hold this up and use it as a traditional Kestrel, you can just hold it up into the wind. Say the wind's coming from 3 o'clock, you scroll with your arrow to 3 o'clock, and then it gives you two wind speed options. So uh, the reason behind that is it gives you a constant wind, and it also gives you a gusting wind. So say our, our all-the-time wind right now is blowing a constant 5 miles an hour but we have a gust every now and then that comes up to about 12. If you want to worry about that, you come down to your wind speed 2 and you go ahead and enter in your 12. What that allows you to do is it gives you a number to shoot if you need to take a shot in that gust. And sometimes, you know, it just makes sense to shoot into the gust if it's a very distinct, steady uh, value uh, in other words, sometimes that low speed wind is all over the place. It comes and it goes and uh, you might have a zero, then a three, then a five, and then a couple of minutes of five. But when the gusts come on, you know, they might last for a minute and it's a steady 12 miles an hour. So you might choose to shoot in that wind. Uh, anyway, this gives you the option to do it. Okay, thanks for watching. The next video is going to be all about using the weather screen in the Kestrel Elite. Uh, please subscribe so you don't lose track of any and see you next time.